Hey there YouTube viewers, this is a request video by Pea Pale Pran Knock. I think I say his name wrong, but if he doesn't, if I didn't, then he'll let me know. Um, so this is software, the question was, Steven, how can I convert a DVD video so that way I can play it on any DVD player? Now, we have our Jackass 2 video, which we're going to set up to be burnt onto a DVD that can be played in a DVD player. Here we have a DVD video soft, free studio. Now this is 100% free, you will have it in all the links, and it is one of the top of line software, it pretty much just everything you need to do, and it's free, you can't go wrong, and it, the GUI is insanely awesome. So we're going to click on DVD to video, and free video to DVD. Now we're going to browse for a file, which I put on the desktop right away, Jackass 2, and now it's going to say, here, this will fit on this DVD size, an actual DVD then dual layer and it'll go on so forth to blu-ray to blu-ray kind of thing now here we gotta select our quality we can hit good quality high quality blah 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 and also does pal just in case you guys need to so 6.4 6.22 gigabytes in video size we don't want to do that we want to put it on a regular dvd so we're going to hit create dvd and start dvd burning and wait for the user command start dvd burning and begin the recording process no actions taken so we're going to hit continue and we're going to put a normal priority. You can set high priority, normal priority, whatever you want. Um, now while this is converting, I will be pausing this video because I'm assuming a video would take a while to convert. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, so if you guys have any like questions, throw them in the comments box and that the video is going to be paused from now on. Unless something comes up and I think it's important to tell you guys. Alright. Hey there guys. Um, I thought this would be a good time to actually go through the software with you. If you've never done it before. Uh, if My video was paused but now it's not. So I want to walk you through it. So with YouTube you can actually select what you want to do. Free YouTube downloader. Uploader. Uh, YouTube to MP3. So in other words if you have a song like say Classified or something like that. You can copy their video and it will automatically just take the audio. Uh, YouTube for iPhone. YouTube to iPhone which allows us to take the video, we'll convert it and put it onto iTunes and let you copy it to your iPhone, iPod, and YouTube to DVD. So if you have the Steve Jobs 1080p um, the lecture thingy, whatever the hell he does, it will download it and burn it to DVD for you. Next one, MP3 audio. Uh, this lets you do audio conversion, so if you're on a Mac and you just switch to PC, which would be a weird occasion, but I've actually seen people do it. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of ACC files if you did. You can convert into MP3s and upgrade them if you want it. Free audio to Flash allows you to make Flash audio, which allows it easier to upload to YouTube. You know it does MP3 as well. Audio dub allows you edit it. Uh, free YouTube MP3 as before. Grab those MP3 off there to bring them to your iPod. Video to MP3 would be allow you to take the Jackass audio and put it into that kind of thing. Uh, free audio CD burner, burn CDs. Audio CD to MP3 lets you copy. Let's go to CD, DVD, BD. BD stands for Blu-ray, if you guys didn't know that. And it's all pretty much the same straight here. Uh, DVD, video. These have a lot of options. Don't be afraid to play around with this. Uh, images. Yes, this program does do images. So it will re-render it, um, make it better quality, uh, resizing, videos to JPEGs, um, free 3D photo maker. If you want to know what this does, you click on it. It will launch the 3D software, which right now might take a lot because I have the video set for highest priority. Yeah, you need some glasses, obviously. Hit OK. Now it's going to ask you to select an image which you would like to make 3D. You find your image, and then you do that, and you there you go. So we have the two images here. We can make them 3D to make them a 3D image. But we're not going to do it because one, it's I don't have a 3D screen. But it's just showing you you can do it can do that on a free software by the way I mentioned it's 100% free mobile devices if you don't own an iPhone like the rest of the world there's a huge list of things this will do it to Android Blackberry HTC phones Motorola phones Nokia phones Samsung phones LG phones Sony PSP videos directly for your Xbox Nintendo Wii and PS3 pretty straightforward it will convert them and have set up so they can be played for the best quality on your video on whatever you choose 
Apple devices. If you do live in the Apple world like most of us, then you have the option to do video to your iPod, iPad, iPhone, or to your Apple TV. I don't know if you know this guys, but it's pretty hard to find some videos on the internet to tr transfer over to um, your Apple TV due to copyright laws, blah blah blah. And um, also, not very many people upload MP4 videos, and if they are, they're usually shitty quality. 3D, this nice fancy tab that you see here. This allows you to make 3D movies and 3D video, well, pictures. Now, the 3D Movie Maker, what that would do is allows you to take a 2D image and upgrade it to 3D. If you don't want to do that, it also can make 3D and then it'll render in 3D in the quality you choose to. So if you want a 3D movie for your iPhone, which would be messed up to do anyways, you would get the red and blue glasses and you'd be able to watch 3D on your iPhone. Just for an example. Don't ever try that because it's probably going to suck. But this is pretty much a walkthrough of all this software. It does come in many languages. And you can turn the intro off. Now the intro I like because it's pretty sexy. And I'm not going to lie, for free software, you can't go wrong. This has a lot of support for a lot of things that people don't know. It does support almost every single file format in the world I've ever seen so far, including MKV. And uh, downloads, they have many, 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 many downloads. So if we're going to go onto the website here, and we have, we, we're talking tons, so if you just need the one, we're talking loads, and they're all free. Now, here's a, here's some things you might not know about this. Um, True Cows, 5-star rating. Uh, Computer blind, Blid, whatever it is, 5-star rating. Uh, Brother Stuff, Soft, whatever it is, 5-star rating. Snap Files, 5-star rating. Um, Famous Software, 5-star rating. Editor's Choice, 5-star rating. Chip Online, 5-star rating. These are seven companies have given this five star ratings, and I will also give it a five star rating because from everything it's done so far, it's insane just what it can do. Of course, it comes with toolbars too and everything else, right? So you can just if you have a toolbar installed for Firefox, you can grab that YouTube video right off and open it right up and get it done. So that's pretty much a walkthrough for this uh, free studio software. Uh, I do recommend this to everyone. And don't be afraid. Don't pay for stuff if you don't need to. There's software out there you do have to pay for that will just convert stuff to DVD. And it's like $60. I think it's narrow. Yeah, narrow. That's it. And this does exactly the same stuff. I believe this actually does it better. Narrow does play DVDs. But if you want VLC, that plays every single file format in the world. And it's open source, so it's free. And Windows 7 users, you guys have a lot of video support as well for um, videos for your new player. Windows Media Player 12. I run XP because Microsoft banned my Windows 7 key, so what can you do? So anyhow, I'll get this video paused and we'll keep converting and then we'll get that done. Okay, YouTube viewers, now that the um, video is now done converting Jackass 2, we're now going to burn it. So you just hit burn when this menu pops up. Please insert disk. Yes. So, insert the disk into the correct drive. burn again. It's going to fire up one of your drives, so I don't know which one it would be. If you go under options, you will be able to select the drive that you want to burn to. So the slower the burn that you're going to be burning at, the better the quality of the video. So I'm going to be pausing this until this burn is done. Okay, YouTube viewers, now the video has successfully burnt. I will be uh, showing you proof as well, so just give me a minute and we will go into the camera and we'll show proof that the DVD actually works. So now we're on webcam. I'm just proving you guys that the Jackass 2 that we just burnt onto our DVD here will work in on our Blu ray player. Hopefully it does. Here we go. So let's skip a couple scenes ahead. <laughs> 